okay continuing <coughs> hegar sign is seen earliest at hegar sign is seen earliest at 8 weeks so the pel uh, pelvic changes during pregnancy appear at different different uh, different time so the uh, different um, phase <coughs> phase of phase of uh, pregnancy for uh, for example at 4 to 8 weeks there will be palmar sign first of all how many signs these are very important how many signs will be uh, signs we can find palmar sign vaginal sign gudel signs hegar signs oslander signs chadwick sign and fisher sex sign so first of all starting with 4 to 8 weeks there will be regular and rhythmic uterine contraction regular and rhythmic in uterine contraction that is palmar sign at 6th week there will be two sign one is vaginal sign and another is gudel sign vaginal sign is vaginal vaginal wall will be softened it will be softened and there will be mucoid discharge that is vaginal sign that means softened wall softened wall plus discharge mucus discharge this is uh, this will be evident at 6th week at 6th week only 6th <clears throat> week only another thing will be in there cervix will be feeling soft so vaginal wall will be feeling so <clears throat> will be uh, will be soft and also cervix will be uh, cerv cervical wall will also be soft and congested congested that means reddened on visualization or on uh, um, on observation you can see that cervical cervical wall is reddened congested so cervical cervical signs that is gudel signs will, will also uh, in in this cervix will feel soft cervix will be soft and congested and congested and this is vaginal sign is about vagina and gudel sign is about cervix here not cervical sign but gudel sign the name is gudel sign we need to remember that both both of this soft and discharge and soft and congestion both of these is in the 6th week both of this is in the 6th week occurs in 6th week during pregnancy next is hegar sign uterus is enlarged soft cervix empty that is 6 to 10th week oseander sign oseander sign increase pulsation at lateral fornis at lateral fornis it increase pulsation that will be 8 week and hegar sign will start from 8 will start from 6 to 10 so average is average is 8 and um, and from this 6 to 10 this range no there is no option so we choose number a we choose number a it can be 6th week also it can be Ten uh, uh, up to tenth week, six to tenth week, we can get, we can get Hegar sign positive. Okay, next is Chadwick sign at eighth week. At eighth week also there will be two signs. One is was he under increased pulsation at lateral fornis, and Chadwick sign dusky hue of the vestibule and anterior vaginal wall due to local vascular congestion. So uh, <clears throat> dusky hue of the vestibule and anterior vaginal wall. that is chadwick sign eighth week and at 12th week fisher sex signs asymmetrical enlargement of the uterus if there is a lateral implantation if there is lateral implantation otherwise this fisher sex sign is another sign is a, is one one of the sign which is not evident in all the pregnant women if the lateral implantation occurs then only fisher sex sign is positive otherwise all are evident but at different period it ranges sixth week means almost on average it will be sixth week like palmar sign four to eight weeks range is bigger the hegar sign also six to tenth week two of this sign that is palmar sign and hegar sign have range 
have range age of uh, at 6 to 10 weeks of um, age of gestation Hegar sign will be uh, evident while Palmer sign 4 to 8 week otherwise vaginal and goodell 6th week oceander and chadwick 8th week and their definition or, or their description is very important very important they can uh, they come directly in the question also in fmg recently question came from these signs as well and hagar's palmas chadwick's very important these three chadwick sign is also called jacuma sign you must remember because in the option they may not give the chadwick the word chadwick sign or uh, they, they may use this jacuma's sign so you must remember both of this <clears throat> okay so this is about these signs okay next question lmp of the patient is 30th june 2015. now edd now edd calculation is very actu actually very easy simple ed edd calculation we use nagel's formula we use nagel's formula and this is the formula this is the formula first day of the lmp first day of the lmp is for example the question given is 30th june 2015 okay so first day of lmp is 30th june 30th june 2015 the year must be written because you know it's ninth month means we obviously in uh, in most cases we will go next year so 30th june plus nine month plus seven days plus nine month means from june july august september october november december january february march march then it the year becomes so the month becomes march obviously next year year becomes 2016. now this is not the final answer next we have to add this is about the month and year calculation now coming to the date date about the date it is 30th june so it will be 30th march so um, as of now 30th march 2016. this is our answer and next next the final answer is plus seven days plus seven days another important thing in edd calculation we will we will uh, consider a month has 30 days a month has 30 days okay so plus seven Plus seven means seventh April two thousand sixteen. This is the final answer. So first we will go for month and year. If month changes, obviously June from June to March means two thousand fifteen to sixteen. Automatically it gets calculated the year. Then thirty. Then about the date. So this is how it is should be calculated okay okay lucky lucky are last for five days two weeks three weeks and four weeks answer is three weeks lucky what is lucky is a vaginal discharge for the first fortnight during puerperium and it has three phases which may extend up to three weeks first of all rubra that is phase one which stays for one to four days. Number two, serosa. Serosa, which stays up to five to nine days. And number three, alba. Ten to fifteen days. Ten to fifteen days. So one to four days, red in color. Five to nine days, the color is yellowish or pink or pale brownish 10 to 15 days pale white color red red in color 
this is yellowish this is pale white color pale white color okay next duration of the lochia alba beyond 3 weeks suggests local genital lesion local genital lesion so lochia lasts for this 4 days plus 9 days plus uh, plus obviously not 15 days but it maximum goes for lochia maximum goes for 21 days 